Step four, add criteria to limit the query results to include any order that took more than 30 days. Let's go ahead and take our shipping efficiency query and go back to design view. We want to look over here in days to ship. This is where we've been working and get to criteria. It's that row right underneath the check boxes. See the word criteria? And we want to go shift greater than, which is right above your period, and type the number 30. This is going to bring back only items that took more than 30 days to ship. I'm going to show you what that should look like in kind of a blow-up picture here. Well, it's not too blown up. But you see, you want ship date, days to ship. We're going to do criteria, and that's our greater than 30. Okay, and that's the end of step four. Step five, add the quantity field from the order dates table and the products name field from the products table to the query. So we're going to kind of go ahead and come on over here and close this up a little bit so we can see where we're working. We're going to be working right here. And I'm going to come back over and go to show table. And I'm going to add the order details table, which is the fourth one, and double click. And I'm going to add the products table and double click. And close my show table dialog box. Now I want to make sure I add the right fields. The first field that's asked for is the quantity field from the order details table. And that's our third field. I'm going to double click it. And then we, from the products table, um, we want the product name field and the product name field from the products table. So that's the second field. I double click that. Sort the query in ascending order by company name. Now we've worked really far to the right. You may have to come down here to your scrolling and scroll left to come back so you can see company name. Under sort the query, we click the sort pull down menu and we pick ascending. So our A names will be at the top and our Z names will be at the bottom. And that's the end of step five. Step six, add the captions days to ship to our days to ship field. Well, here's our days to ship field. That's where we made our formula. Click in that field and then come up to the design tab on the property sheet and select the property sheet. Once you do that, we can type a caption. Type days to ship. I have found too that if you click off days to ship row into the, another row of the property sheet, then your days to ship caption has been saved for credit. And now we're asked to switch to data sheet view to see the final results of our query. Let's do that. We're going to come over here to view and go to data sheet. It runs the query for us. And look at this. We have four fields and we have 41 to, 39 to 37 days ship. So we knew we wanted over 30 days to ship. And that tofu with 16 quantities is going to take 41 days to ship. Seems like a long time for tofu. That's for us now to save and close the query. And that's the end of step six. Step seven, create a query using query design. I'm going to come over to create. Again, I don't want to use the wizard. I'm using query design. I click it once and it asks me, oh, we can close our property sheet over here. I'm going to come back to show table so I can bring the table. It asks me to add the orders, details, products, and customers tables. So one, two, three, and four tables we're going to add. And let's start there. So we're going to do the orders table, double click. We're going to do the order details table, which is above it, double click. We're going to do the products table, next to the bottom. 
And then finally, we're going to do the customers table close to the top. I'm going to close that, and I'm going to go ahead and pull down my fields so I can see them. And we're asked to add the order ID and order date. Not very much from the orders table. So order ID, double click, order date. Add the order ID and order date from the orders table. Set both fields, total rows to group by. At the moment, we don't have a total row, but because we're clicked in either one of these fields, we can come back up here to the Design tab in the Show High panel, panel and click Totals. When we do that, it will add a total row for us, and the default for access is Group By, so we don't have to worry about typing the Group By. And that's the end of Step 7.